the process involved in transport of materials in ploem first of all so you have to recall the structure of the ploem tissue so in this diagram you can observe one co tube element and one companion cell between two co tube element at their cross wall you can observe co plate and this cell has very thin cytosol in the peripheral region so ploem sap can be easily moved from one co tube element to the next co tube element via this co plate by using bulk flow method when we take this companion cell it is adjacent to the co tube element and it is very important for the survival of co tube element what is mean by ploem translocation that is the transport of products of photosynthesis through the ploem tissue that is known as ploem translocation in angiosperm co tube elements are the special cells in the ploem that is specialized for the translocation what is the responsible cell of the ploem in gymnosperm for the translocation so that is co cells what is mean by ploem sap ploem sap is an aqueous solution it flow through the co tubes and it mainly contains sucrose uh, that is about 30 percentage by weight of the ploem sap and also it contain amino acid hormones and minerals but when we take xylem sap that pass through the xylem tube it mainly contain water and minerals the place where ploem translocation start is known as the source and the destination of the ploem translocation is known as the sink so normally ploem sap move from the site of sugar production it means from the source to the site of sugar use or storage so that is a sink when we take uh, sugar source that is an organ that produce sugar by photosynthesis also the source can be a area where it has starch and it produces sucrose by the breakdown of starch when we take growing roots stem buds they are normally sinks because they are growing points of the plant and they can be storage organs when we take storage organs like tubers and bulbs sometimes they can be a sink so in this diagram you can observe plant leaves they are normally sources because that is the site of sugar production by photosynthesis and this uh, stage storage organ is a sink because it use uh, it store sugar but in this diagram you can observe this storage organ can be act as a source because it has starch and it convert into sucrose then it pass to the growing tip so at this stage storage organ can be a source so storage organ can be a source or sink when we take sinks they usually receive sugar from its nearest sugar source for each co tube the direction of the ploem translocation it means to the upward direction or to the downward direction that direction depends uh, about the location of sugar source and the location of sugar sink that are connected by that tube when we take neighboring co tubes they may carry ploem sap in opposite direction if they are they originate and end at different location for an example in this diagram leaf a uh, that is the source and b axillary bud that is the sink so in this co tube element ploem translocation occurs to downward direction but neighboring co tube element the translocation goes to upward direction from c leaf to d apical bud so neighboring co tube tubes can be 
carry their phloem sac to opposite directions. The first step of phloem translocation is transport of load of sucrose into CO tube element. In some species, uh, sucrose move from mesophyll cells of leaves to CO tube elements through plasmodesmata, so that is through symplast that is done by diffusion passively according to concentration gradient. But in many plants, sugar movement from uh, sugar movement into the ploem tissue is done by active transport because more sugar concentration found in CO tube element than the mesophyll cells. You can observe it in this diagram. So that is happen against concentration gradient. So it need ATP energy. After that, uh, in the CO tube element, sugar concentration will be increase so solute potential will be increased water potential will be decreased inside the co tube element due to that water will be enter into the co tube element by osmosis from nearby xylem vessel then at the sink sucrose should be unloaded from the co tube element when we take the free, uh, free sugar concentration in the sink, it is always lower than in the CO tube element because that unloaded sugar uh, in the sink will be consumed for the growth and metabolism of the cells at the sink and also that sugar can be converted into starch. So always at sink uh, sucrose concentration is lower than in the CO tube element. So at the sink sugar molecules will be diffused from CO tube element into the sink passively according to concentration gradient. Then inside the CO tube element water concentration will be increased due to low solute concentration and it has high water potential. So water will be moved to the nearby xylem vessels by osmosis. Uh, then inside the ploem tissue it create low water concentration and it create low pressure at the sink. So at the source there is high pressure and at the sink there is low pressure. So the ploem sap can be moved by using bulk flow method by using this positive pressure. This is known as pressure flow. So ploem translocation can be explained by pressure flow hypothesis. So these are the main four stages of ploem translocation. First one loading of sugar into CO tube element and reduce the water potential inside the CO tube element that happens at the source. Then this causes the CO tube element to take up water by adjacent xylem by osmosis and it generates a positive pressure at the source so that forces the sap, ploem sap to flow along the CO tube to the sink by bulk flow passively. At the sink due to unload of the sugar it create low pressure and water will be moved to the xylem by osmosis. So this is the ploem translocation that is pressure flow hypothesis from source to sink ploem sap can be moved by using bulk flow that is not use ATP energy so that is a passive movement. By using this diagram you can explain that so this is the uh, pressure flow hypothesis. In next lesson we will discuss about the water transport within the silo. Thank you.